February is Black History Month, and all month long, we have been introducing you to some of the pe some of pe the people who have helped shape our history. Our next guest flew into history back in the 1940s as a part of the Tuskegee Airmen, America's first black military airmen in the U.S. Army. I want to introduce you to Harry Stewart. Hi, Harry. Hi there. <laughs> and joining him is Major Mark Vaught, who uh, is one of the many men that followed in Harry's footsteps, or should I say tailwind. Uh, so welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. All right. So let's start to set the scene here with some background information. So Harry, can you please tell all of our viewers watching right now about who the Tuskegee Airmen are and how you made your mark in history? Well, let's go ahead and start by saying that uh, Tuskegee Airmen, the term was not used until uh, 1950, somewhere in the late 50s, where a uh, writer by the name of Charles Francis decided he wanted to write about the black airmen who flew during World War II. And for want of a name, he used the location where they all trained. And it was in Tuskegee, Alabama. So the, hence the name Tuskegee Airmen. During World War II, nobody knew anything about or heard this name such as Tuskegee Airmen. But that's how they were formed. Uh, it turned out where there were about a thousand of them trained as pilots there, but another 6, 16,000 more that supported them uh, as support troops uh, for their training. Uh, the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, what we will term as the Tuskegee Airmen, lasted through a term of 1941 through 1945, uh, 1949, and uh, after that time, they were totally integrated with the rest of the Air Force. So there's no longer any separation or any uh, uh, that type of thing as far as the uh, Air Force is concerned or the military as far as that's concerned. Wow, these are some amazing photos that we're looking at on our screen right now. And Mark, a question for you. Are you, so you are an Air Force pilot, and w just a question if you were, if the Tuskegee Airmen were part of the reason why you decided to become a pilot. Oh, they were the direct reason why, why I decided to become a pilot. Um, I went through Detroit Public Schools, uh, joined the Air, the Air Force Junior ROTC program there, and the Tuskegee Airmen would regularly visit my school. Um, when I was about 17 years old, I won a scholarship to the uh, program known as the Negro Airmen International at the time, which is now morphed into the Tuskegee Airmen Museum, where they provide um, underprivileged youth the opportunity to fly. Uh, some of the pictures that you're seeing right now um, is pictures of me and my crew, the aircraft that I fly, and I'm sitting here at City right now where I took my first flight, so at the museum. Um, they were my direct inspiration for not just aviation, but military aviation. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, just talking about how just a little thing like that, visiting you at school could have uh, such an impact on your life. And now you both are involved with the Tuskegee Airmen Museum and the career fair event that they are hosting on the 22nd. So uh, could you tell us more about the event? Harry, we can start with you. Well, the event will be uh, uh, not only telling the story again of the uh, Tuskegee Airmen, but to uh, open a new uh, uh, area for them to go ahead and display their artifacts. And this will be at the uh, Charles Wright Museum uh, downtown in uh, uh, Detroit. Awesome. And then, uh, Mark, could you talk a little bit about it? Sure. Um, well, the event is to showcase what Tuskegee Airmen Museum and the the programs that it provides to the youth. Uh, it goes from the ACE Academy. We have a program that's brand new uh, for airframe and power plant familiarization. Uh, we have a model rocketry pro program. I know you've seen just some of the pictures that you're scrolling through uh, right now. I've got my kids involved and it's uh, to bring out the community and to bring out the youth to see what the museum actually offers. Wow, your kids are involved too. Wow, this is such a made such an impact on your life. So, uh, Harry, how does it make you feel to see people like Mark and his kids follow in your footsteps? Well, it's uh, it just makes us feel very, very good that we laid down a legacy which uh, had perpetuity as far as the uh, uh, advancement and training of uh, youth 
that we have now, and they can look back on the Tuskegee Airmen as examples of, or for them to emulate. Wow, Harry and Mark, thank you so much both for joining us. You are both an inspiration, and we are so lucky to have you here on Live in the D. Hey, thank, thank you for having you. us. Uh, of course. And as they mentioned, the Career Fair event is happening virtually over Zoom on Monday, February 22nd for Detroit Public Schools and some charter schools. They will also be posting videos to their YouTube channel so anyone can learn about a career in aviation. You can also learn more information on the Tuskegee Airmen and other museum programming. Check out the Tuskegee, museum, Tuskegee Airmen Museum website.